Hello everybody, I'm upgrading the wheels on my Harbor Freight tool chest. This information will go beyond Harbor Freight's chests uh, along on to other brands. Uh, these are odd duck casters. Uh, you cannot just go out and find a direct bolt-on caster like this with a 5 inch by 2 inch wheel. Uh, this would be a medium to light duty uh, plate and the bolt pattern is 1 and 3 quarter by around about 3 inches. But like I said, you cannot find them, so don't bother looking. So, I'm going to be changing out the wheels and keeping the rest of the hardware. Now these wheels are just as cheap as they come, and that's to be expected. I have a couple dust caps, but this is the spanner bushing, which is in essence the bearing for this. Super thin, super cheap, so I'm upgrading to a polyurethane wheel. Now don't just go out and grab any old polyurethane wheel that you can find because you need one uh, that will help resist set. Polyurethane does not like standing loads, meaning like a toolbox that doesn't move very often. It will develop a set or in essence a flat spot. And then over time when you go to roll it the next time you'll be bumping over the flat spots. So. A lot of the wheels you just go out there and find, they're going to be in a short A scale for their durometer hardness. Uh, I'm, I purchased a wheel that is in the D scale, and this is a 55D, so it's much harder than the A scale. Uh, for reference, this is a Colston caster. This has a polyolefin center. Say that five times fast. If I said it right, I don't know. Uh, but just for reference, the model number or part number of this wheel is 5.00005.925. Now that specific part number comes with a PPBB bearing. That is a pedestal precision ball bearing. The race sticks out the outside, but it also extends to the midsection of the wheel. So when you put these bearings together, you have a span all the way across. Now I went with ball bearing as opposed to roller bearing, one, because they're maintenance free, they should roll very easily, and that's my choice. Now I needed axles. The axles that came with the Harbor Freight casters, they're around about a 3 eighths of an inch. This is a half inch bore, so I quizzed them at the store and they gave me four axles for free. As I said, here, take them. So you could use a half inch bolt. These axles have a grease zerk in the end and they're hollow up to here. So if you did have roller bearings, this is how you would maintain them. You would shoot your grease in there and it would lubricate the bearing. I don't need that, but that came with them. Now, for reference, I paid $13.85 per wheel. So in essence, $55.40 plus tax was my cost. I sourced these out locally. You could probably call any material handling place in your area and they would be able to give you this wheel if you chose to go with it. I'm hoping that using the 55D will resist any type of set, but time will tell. But this is what I'm going with. The modification I'm going to need to make is in the original forks on the Harbor Freight box, I'm going to need to drill this hole out and open it up to a half inch to accept the new axle. There'll still be plenty enough meat around there, I wouldn't be concerned about doing that. So that's where I'm at right now. I need to pierce these holes and we're going to start loading these things up. Well, all right, two down, two to go. There's a little bit of a fight. Uh, the bearings a little bit wider than this, so I had to splay these out just a little bit, but it worked out. Look how nice they roll. And then on this one, uh, because it has the lock right here, the lock still works, but because it's splayed out a little bit, I had to put a very small cant right here for the lock. Everything worked out. I just cinched this all the way up until I could not move the lock and then I backed it off just enough to where I could articulate that. So they are going to work at least at this level. I'll wrap up the other two and bolt them on. Okay well here's a quick shot of the casters reinstalled with the new wheels. They sure do roll nice. That uh, should solve my problem and allow me to move this around easier. I need to stand it back up and put my cross braces back in and then I can put the drawers in and start loading it up. Alright, I've got it stood up. I don't have the drawers in it. Obviously the top box, nothing's in it, but watch this. My floor is not level. Talk about easy to roll around. Look at that. 
so good thing I got the locks working all right well, I've got my cross supports put back in that I've made to stiffen up the box uh, for anybody who hadn't seen the video on that you can look that up if you like and see how I, you can stiffen up the bottom of your toolbox and make it more rigid very easy simple to process to do uh, these have been cleaned up and painted reinstalled for anybody who has seen that video you guys really didn't think I was gonna put rusty steel in the bottom of my box did you you guys know me better than that <laughs> they've been cleaned up and painted just throwing in a quick clip here of my chaos these are all the contents of my box strewn all over the floor all the way up covering that whole table the chair all the way onto my workbench I had to do something with it while I had all those drawers removed and let me tell you I am flat sick of having to try to walk around this stuff and it's only been since Saturday wasn't even out here yesterday and now it's Monday I'm getting ready to load my drawers back up and get this stuff put away finally well alright I finally got everything loaded back up into the box uh, I just wanted to make note that the entire unit including tools cashes in at about 671 pounds uh, this was a very very worthwhile upgrade and it rolls effortlessly with that much weight I'm hoping that the durometer I chose the 55 D's will not take on a set uh, but at this stage I am completely completely satisfied so I'll wheel it out a little bit and then push it back so you can see how easy it goes Ugh. and it will take off and roll on its own if you're not careful I am no longer scared to roll it around it's rigid it doesn't sway anymore with putting my braces in it and everything worked out just great so I hope this helps you guys in some way thanks for watching and good luck